Hello dear students, in the last lecture we have discussed about an individual demand for a particular commodity. In this lecture we will be talking about market demand curve. Market demand curve is actually the horizontal summation the horizontal summation of all demand curves in the market. It is the horizontal summation of all demand curves in the market. So, the demand curve for a particular commodity shows the various quantities of the commodity demanded in the market per unit period at various prices of the commodity while holding everything constant. For example, we are having three consumers in the market. Consumer a. Consumer B. Consumer C. Suppose quantity demanded for consumer A is D A and quantity demanded for consumer B is D B and for the third consumer which is C quantity demanded is C. This is the individual demand for consumer A. This is the individual demand for consumer B and similarly this is the individual demand for consumer C. So, for market demand that is quantity of X this will be D A plus D B plus D C. This is known as the market demand. So, it means that the market demand is a collection of all individual demands in the market. The market demand curve for a commodity is negatively sloped indicating that the price and quantity demanded are negatively related. So, the slope of the market demand curve is a negative. Negatively sloped curve just like the individual demand curve because the individual demand curve is having negative slope, negative slope. Similarly, the market demand curve is always having negative slope that is it means that price of x increases quantity of x decreases and vice versa. Q of x here denotes the market demand curve, not the individual demand curve. It is the market demand curve. It means that it is the demand coming from the three individuals, coming from the three individuals in the market. So, the things held constant in drawing the market demand curve for a commodity includes the number of consumers in the market, consumer income the price of related goods and con, uh, consumer taste. These are the factors which we need to keep constant before driving the uh, market demand curve. If one of these changes, one of these factors will change, a change in any of these factors will cause the market curve for the commodity to shift in the same direction as a result of the shift in individual demand curve. 
so it means that if we draw a market demand curve we need to keep these factors as constant like number of consumers in the market income of the consumer price of related commodities and test of the consumer so the general market demand curve for a commodity x will be is the general functional form the general the general functional form of market demand is the function of price of x income price of related commodities test and so on same was the case with the individual demand curve now for example let me draw a sketch to make you clarify about the concept of the market demand curve for example we have two consumers we have two consumers let me draw the demand curve for consumer a this is price this is quantity of x for example consumer a is john this is the john demand curve this is the john demand curve this is the demand curve d d suppose john is consuming 3 units at a price 20 he is consuming he is consuming 3 units this was individual 1 now suppose i have another consumer edwards for example this is the edward demand curve again for example at price at price 20 he is willing to consume one unit at price 20 he is willing to consume one unit john is consuming three units at a price 20 however edward is consuming a single unit of a particular commodity at the same price now these are two consumers if we join if we join the individual demand curves of both the consumers horizontally we can get the market demand curve so this will give us the market demand so at the same price this is price suppose again this is 20 price john was consuming 3 units and edward was consuming a single unit it means 3 plus 1 4 at the same price 20 this is quantity of x
suppose this is 4 units of commodity X. So, this was the sketch of the market demand curve. John is consuming 3 units and Edward is consuming 4 units. It means that both the consumers are consuming 4 units of a particular commodity in the market. So, this is Q of X and this is known as market demand curve. This is known as market demand curve. Now, we, we will discuss about the concept of elasticity. The concept of elasticity is very important in economics in general and especially in managerial economics. The concept of elasticity. In the last lecture, we have discussed about the relationship between price and quantity demanded. And we said that a price of a commodity increases, the quantity demanded decreases. Now, the basic question is how much change will occur? For example, if the price increases by 1 dollar, how much change will occur in the quantity demanded? Or if the price decreases, how much change will occur in the quantity demanded? So, we need to get a specific answer. For that answer, we will use the concept of elasticity. The law of demand just shows us the relationship between price and quantity demanded. But the law does not give us any specific value about the change occur between the two concepts. So, elasticity is the measurement, elasticity is the measurement of a proportional change of one economic variable in response to a change in another economic variable. It means that if one economic variable changes due to another economic variable, the proportional change will occur which we will capture from the concept of the elasticity. So, in economics it is important to understand how responsiveness, how responsive quantities such as demand and supply are to things like price, income, the price of related goods. It means that if income of the consumer changes, how responsive the consumer will be? If price of a commodity changes, how responsive the consumer will be towards this change? And similarly, if the price of related commodities changes, how much responsive the consumer will be towards this change? So, to measure this change, we will use the concept of elasticity. For example, when the price of gasoline increases by 1 percent, if the price of gasoline increases by 1 percent, does the demand for gasoline go down by a little or a lot? So, for this answer, we will use the concept of elasticity. The first concept is the price elasticity of demand. The first concept is the price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity price elasticity of demand. The responsiveness, the responsiveness in the quantity demanded of a commodity to a change in its price is very important to the firm. For example, if the business firm changes its price 
how much change will occur in its cells. So, this concept, this idea is very important for a managerial decision making. Sometimes lowering the price of commodity increases sales sufficiently to increase total revenue. By affecting sales, the price policy, the pricing policies of the firm also affect its production cost and thus its profitability. So, the price elasticity of demand refers to the percentage change in the quantity of the commodity divided by the percentage change in its price. So, price elasticity of demand, price price elasticity of demand is equal to change in the quantity percentage change in the we can write it as percentage change in the quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. If a 1 percent change in price occurs, how much the quantity demanded will change in percent. So, this is the basic definition of price elasticity of demand. We can also write it as this is the symbol elasticity, price elasticity. It is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded due to percentage change in price. Simply we can write it as change into quantity demanded due to change in price multiply price divided by Q. This is change in quantity demanded this is change in price P, this is the original price Q, this is the original quantity. So, price elasticity of demand is the ratio of percentage change in quantity demanded and the percentage change in price. This was the formula. This is the change in quantity demanded, change in quantity demanded means Q2 minus Q1, new quantity minus old quantity or original quantity. Change in price P2 minus P1, new price minus old price or original price, multiply P divided by Q, original price and original quantity. So, the value of change in Q due to change in fee, this value, the value of change in Q due to change in P. The value of change in Q due to change in P is negative. This value will be will always be less than 0 or negative. Why? Because of the price and quantity relationship. As I told you before that if price increases, quantity demanded decreases. There is a negative relationship. That is why this value will be negative. Now, in the price elasticity of demand, we have two concepts. One is the point price elasticity of demand and the second is arc price elasticity of demand. So, point price elasticity of demand, point price elasticity of demand. The point price elasticity of demand refers the elasticity at a given point on the demand curve. What does it show? The elasticity 
the elasticity at a particular at a particular point on the this word is very important it means that it measures the elasticity at a particular point on the demand curve formula is the same ep is equal to change in q due to change in p multiply p divided by q this is the point price elasticity of demand formula so for example for example if change in q due to change in p this part of the formula if change in q due to change in p is equal to minus 100 divided by dollar 1 it means that 100 units change in quantity demanded occurred and this is the change in price dollar 1 for example if this is the case so this will be equal to minus 100 and for example p this is dollar 5 suppose this is dollar 5 and q this is 100 so price elasticity point price elasticity of demand will be calculated as for this we will write minus 100 multiply 5 divided by 100 when we solve this we can get minus 5 this is the answer minus 5 minus sign is due to the relationship the negative relationship between price and quantity demanded minus 5 what does it mean this means that the quantity demanded declines by 5% what does it mean it means that the quantity demanded declines by Five percent. For each one percent increase in price, for each one percent increase in price, it means that if price increases by one percent, it means that if if price increases by one percent. quantity demanded decreased by 5% this is the interpretation of the elasticity if price increases by if price increases by 1% it means the quantity demanded decreases by 5% and vice versa keeping all other factors the same we are just talking about the relationship between price and quantity demanded it means that income of the consumer remains constant test of the consumer remains constant price of related commodities remains constant however the price elasticity along the same demand curve is different along the same demand curve is different for example let me draw the graph this is q x this is p x suppose this is the demand curve d d this is the demand curve this is a linear demand curve this is a this is a linear demand curve so the price elasticity of demand is usually differ 
at different price points, different points on the demand curve. For a linear demand curve, for example, for this, for a linear demand curve, the price elasticity of demand has an absolute value E p that is greater than 1. Means if the uh, absolute value means like this. this is the absolute value. So, this absolute value may be greater than 1 or this absolute value may be less than 1 or this absolute value may be equal to 1. If this is greater than 1, it means elastic demand. If it is less than 1, it means inelastic demand. If it is equal to 1, it means unit elastic or unitary means 1. So, for a linear demand curve, the price elasticity of demand has an absolute value, this one, that is greater than 1 the demand curve is elastic about the geometric midpoint. For example, this is a linear demand curve and this is the midpoint. For example, this is the midpoint. So, we have this area and also we have this area and this is the midpoint. So, above the midpoint, this is above the midpoint, this area, in this area, the absolute value will be greater than 1, mean this is elastic region, elastic demand region, this area is elastic demand region above the midpoint. In this case, this is an elastic region, this is, this area is an elastic region and this area mean the midpoint, absolute value of the price elasticity of demand will be equal to 1. like this is the example. Here elasticity is equal to 1, here elasticity must be greater than 1. For example, 2, 3, 4 and in this case elasticity will be less than 1 along the same demand curve. So, it means that for a linear demand curve elasticity changes at different points along the same demand curve. At the midpoint, absolute value of the price elasticity will be equal to 1 above the midpoint, I mean this area. Elasticity will be greater than 1, this is known as elastic region. This region is known as elastic region below the midpoint, this is known as an elastic region. However, what about this level and what about this? Let me make you clarify for you. For example, this is the linear demand curve. quantity of x, this is price, this is the DD demand curve. Suppose, this is the midpoint, this is the midpoint 
at this midpoint absolute value of price elasticity of demand is equal to 1. At midpoint absolute value of the price elasticity of demand will be equal to 1. Above this area absolute value of the price elasticity of demand will be greater than 1 which is known as elastic region. This is known as elastic area or elastic region. Below the midpoint, below the midpoint this area, in this case absolute value of the price elasticity of demand will be less than 1. This is known as inelastic, this is known as inelastic region. Now the case is that along the linear demand curve, what about this position and what about this position? At this point, if the linear demand curve touches the horizontal axis, so for example, let me write it point A, at point A, what will be the elasticity? At point A, what will be the elasticity? At point A, the elasticity will be 0. Price elasticity of demand will be 0 because at this level, at this point, the price is 0. And what about this? For example, this is point B. At, at point B, absolute value of price elasticity of demand will be infinity, infinite number at this point. So, it means that along the linear demand curve at the mid point we have absolute value of price elasticity equals to 1. Above this point, I mean this area, elasticity will be greater than 1. Below the mid point, elasticity will be less than 1. At this point, elasticity will be 0. At this point, elasticity will be negative. How? We can also, as we know that, for example, price elasticity is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded due to percentage change in price. In this case, we have no change in price. Quantity demand is changing, but we have no change in price. It means that this value is 0. So, anything divided by 0 is equal to 0. Anything divided by 0 is equal to 0. What about this case? It means that price is changing, but quantity is 0. It means that price is changing sufficiently. There is more change in price, but quantity demanded is not changing. So, in that case, quant uh, in that case quantity demanded uh, price elasticity of demand will be infinity. So, this was the discussion of the linear demand curve that how along the linear demand curve the price elasticity changes. As we have seen that at the midpoint on the linear demand function, we have elasticity, price elasticity of demand equals to 1. Above the midpoint, the price elasticity of demand will be greater than 1 and below the midpoint 
area the price elas absolute value of the price elasticity of demand will be less than 1 it means that along the linear demand curve price elasticity changes okay thank you so much in the next lecture we will be talking about the arc price elasticity of demand the income elasticity of demand the cross elasticity of demand that's it for today thank you so much